Hello and welcome to Risk of Rain 2. Yep. Game released like two days ago and uh, I'm already playing it. I got the game for free uh, from somebody who gifted some, was kind enough to gift it to me, going by the name Chi. Thanks very kindly for that. Um, anyway, Risk of Rain 2, a uh, game developed by Hopo Games, published by Gearbox Publishing. Um, from what I've heard, which is very little, it's basically Risk of Rain 1 in 3D. I played a lot of Risk of Rain, I really enjoyed that game, I have a let's play of uh, sort of way back. But um, yeah, they're back now in Extra Dimension. I'm playing this with a controller, I'm playing this for the first time, so I might switch to keyboard and mouse depending on how things go. But I haven't played this game yet. This is again completely blind, which is how I really enjoy my games. You know, just dive on in and you guys get to experience it along with me for the first time. So let's see. Um, commando. Yeah, okay. Phase round, tactical dive. Uh, this seems mostly the same from the original one. Can we... That's probably the Huntress. That's the Engineer. Which used to be my favorite character in the original. Uh, him and um, Hakrit and the chef. I really like the chef as well. Um, well, let's just jump in. Distant roost, ground zero. Uh, oh, it's X to okay. All right. Figure out where my dodge is, those are usually important. My dodge skill is this, okay. That's the first special skill. Ah, this is already really way cool. Seems like this would be something better for mouse and keyboard because precision. Hey, okay, I'm dead. I live! Fear me, for I have decided not to fall to my death. Okay, the shrines are still a thing. Which, where's our money? There it is. Okay, open it up. I wonder if these are still... Cautious slug reptile outside. Oh, so that's, um... Is that the egg? Something is taking shots at me. Is it you? Yep, I'm digging this. Apparently the co-op is way more accessible, so I'm pretty sure you'll be seeing some of that. I'll sprint to get around the map. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Not enough cash for that. I don't know what a teleporter looks like, so that's going to be something we'll have to look into. This is amazing, though. It's... It seems like the enemies are the same, but again, with an extra dimension to them. So that's cool. What's this thing? Money! One thing I'd, I do wish to bring up, I really enjoyed Risk of Rain, and I said that before, but after the Let's Play, I played a little bit more, and I kind of got reliant on playing with um, certain modifiers, because the game was, say what you want, but it was a chance to bleed enemies on hits. Alright. <clears throat> um, the game was a little bit slow, so I was kind of relying on... Um, The glass modifier. I think a lot of people remember that one. You had like 10% HP, but uh, you did four to five times as much damage. So, 
was a great thing to speed things up. Elite Slayer. Yeah, okay, so there's nothing here. Seems I'm doing not too bad with controller. I might stick with it. Kind of enjoy having um, all of my buttons at hand. It is pretty cool. Going from uh, 2D to 3D. It's quite a jump in um, open barrel. There you go. Uh, back to the, do you grind, do you just move on, 50 HP, let's wait on that, I think this is just a regular, or is this an imp shrine? Shrine of chance, all rewarded. Okay, I guess we're heading that way then. So there's one big thing. Which is definitely a big up. Oh. You were able to shoot backwards. <laughs> Hooray for 3D. That was a thing that you couldn't really do, except for um, who was it? The Huntress had the ability to move backwards and shoot, but everybody else was not capable of that. I'm already spending way too much time in the, the very first area, I would assume, but if you can't find a teleporter, well, there you go. We really had fun in um, the very first Risk of Rain game. Um, one of the modifiers, or I think they were called artifacts in that, um, was that you could uh, choose what you got from your crates. Fire black hole that draws on these. Yeah, not a lot of this. Yeah. And whilst that was ridiculously OP, say what you want, it was. It did allow you to get like really big stacks of things. Oh, that's something you can use for co op then. Alright. Where's the frickin' teleporter, though? Seems these areas are, uh, quite large. Hey, I'm just gonna be glad if I can beat the very first game. I also got one purple doll. I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna be using that for, but... We have it. It's probably used for something. I just don't know what yet. That's a lot of flying dudes. Is, that's not the teleporter, is it? No, that's another launch pod. Rescue pod, whatever. I think we're in a little bit of a bind here. I don't want to jump down there. That's what I came from, but everything is... More than happy to try and murder me. What a surprise, right? I'm not ready to die yet. Uh, probably shouldn't fall down. Hmm. There's this teleporter. There's like a giant toaster thing down there, but I don't think that's what we're looking for. Jeez, eight minutes on level one. Um, for the record, um, this is an early access, of course. Where's this stupid teleporter?
Talk about bad luck on your very first level, right? Ow. Shook. Slow enemies on hits. That's good. I don't see a teleporter though. Oh, there it is. Kind of blend, you know, once you know it's here, I guess. Yeah, bring it. Ooh, the wandering vagrant. Is that the squid thing? Ow. Oop, oh, yep, it's definitely just. Whoa, hello, everybody. Can I just. Would you mind if I go away? Excuse me while I just casually enter the teleporter zone. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think I'm gonna do that. God, I've left enemies everywhere. Can you just get a little bit of a breather here? Thank you. I'm assuming enemies will stop spawning, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna live for much longer. Yeah. Alright, well, that's our very first run. Not the greatest start, but. Uh, Let's start up another one, shall we? Hopefully we get a little bit lucky. Um, do I continue? Ah, let's try that again. No, I don't have to... ...worry about learning the controls anymore. We can immediately... ...tick those things off. It never was my... Um, well, in the late game it never was... Uh, Okay, we got still got drones. Never was my strategy to stick around much for well, not my method to stick around for long. So having me taking that long to find a teleporter doesn't really is that it? No, that's another shrine. There's a teleporter. You could always look for items after the facts, right? So let's just kick it off straight away. See if the thing still. Uh, Works. So the teleport area is marked by the red. Where is it? Oh, there he is. This is gonna <clears throat> take some time. Big head. Should probably try to dodge those. Should probably book it for a bit. Oof, that went quick. All right, so maybe not rush it that fast. Just gonna use the mouse for. Uh... And yeah, I could be playing on easy peasy mode, but no, we don't do that. What happens if you just stay in a pot forever? It's like, no, I don't want to leave. It's too early in the morning. Anyway, what was it about? Oh, yeah. The, um, apparently the multiplayer is really cool on this and requires less of a hassle. Um, for the original one, you have to do that port forwarding and everything and... Ugh. Nobody was really a big fan of that. Apparently now you can just do it through Steam. Alright, so rather than trying to beat the first level on our first attempt, let's just try to beat the first level in our first episode. I think I might be interested in just sticking with uh, control right here. How much for... Ooh, I know this one. 
This is a faster attack, right? Yeah, soldier syringe. A really fun thing to stack a lot on, as I was mentioning. Still follow? Yeah, only pathfinding is still pretty decent. Got a logs? Yes, the logs. Lore on this game was always pretty uh, interesting. Or at least well written. It was usually the. Um, what's his face's name? The item descriptions. Some of them. Ended up being rather dark too. Anyway, we need to stay on the move. Look for a teleporter, look for extra items. You know how it all works. I must admit, it kind of came out of the blue. I knew there was a. Um, Risk of Rain 2 in the works, but I heard rumors that cancel and stuff, and suddenly on Discord, uh, on my Discord channel, the bio, people were just like, hey, Risk of Rain 2 is out, and I'm playing it. Like, what? And so here I am playing it as well. So what's this? Pray to Shrine of the Mountain, sure. Invited the challenge of the mountain. Why do I sound like I just screwed myself? I'm not sure, like, that thing and whatever. Is that another shrine of the thing? Oh, you can actually see the items on the characters now, I never, never noticed. A bunch of syringes is stuck in them now. Cool! Teleporter actually with the shrine of the mountain. Let the challenge of the mountain begin. There's two of them. That's probably bad. Now I'm stuck in a corner, which is also not good. Dude, I'm gonna be shooting on this thing like forever. Is there really nothing else? Here for items. I wouldn't mind some items. See, you have infinite range, which can only work in my favor. But where are all the items at? Oh, there's portals. What are those? Oh, that's a dead thing. Never mind. They look like that sh mountain shrine thing. Oh, I can't open these now? Oh, okay. So you can't get items when you're fighting the boss. All right. Yeah, that means it's also rather pointless to go look for them. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? It's like a gazillion enemies. Well, if we can't fire at the boss, maybe we'll shoot at these guys a bit. Ow, ow. Okay, so let's get into the teleport zone. It's not because of the challenge, is it? I'm assuming the challenge was, hey, here's two of them. Uh -oh. 
dead end. Jump, roll, hide, do things in a slightly smarter fashion. Yeah, I'm starting to think doing the challenge of the mountain was not the wisest choice for me. But hey, never say I back out of a challenge, right? Man, that's a super miss. Pretty nasty, too. Oh, hello. <laughs> you really messed up. No kidding. Alright, one more. One more, one more, one more. Uh, where am I? Back, 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 back. That was only one boss. I probably could handle it, but no, I had to push buttons into the speed button. Yes, please. Should have really made that A, but whatever, right? What do I know? Don't start hitting buttons you don't know what they do yet. Not before you're more than ready for it. Uh, well, oh, that's a turret. Um. Sure, let's get the drone. See if those are uh, worth their money. That thing better be following me around. Nope. Hmm. Well, it does mean we can stick around here for a bit. Uh, that's another drone. I think that one might actually follow me around. Is this something I need to worry myself about? Turd's doing well, though. Might as well guide everything towards it. So. Alright, well, it seems this is mostly nothing. Let's keep going then. Another turret. That's a few on turrets. Not interested. Maybe I should, though. Eh, probably not. <clears throat> See if we can get some uh, items in. In a charging shield. Okay. Sprint faster. Alright. Drop a healing orb on kill. Meh. May as well do this now. Uh, gain goals. Okay. I just need to make sure I don't die before I get my health back. I must have missed the teleporter then. I took a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, the turrets here blasting away, having fun and whatnot. Church taking quite the beating, she probably assisted a little bit. Uh, 
minutes, because we go look, yeah, Turt's going... Uh, Turt actually heals itself. Yeah. Well, that's going to be a bit of an experience farming away then. Alright, so it's got to be somewhere this way then. I'll probably... Oh, wow, there's flying stuff over there. That's cool. Okay, nothing here. Where the hell is that teleporter then? around the turret, that's cool. Am I just blind? Or have I legitimately run, not found a teleporter yet? It's only been five minutes, so it's not as bad as our first run, but... Is that where I started? I think it was. So I'm not gonna go there anymore. What am I missing? This way. Oh, okay, so you can switch items in for other items that you can't really choose what you get. Well, you can choose what you get, but you can't choose what you give up. Or maybe you can't understand it. It's all possible. Looking forward to unlocking the other classes, though. Can't wait to go back with my boy, the engineer. Let's get... Um, this one, which I believe heals you when you're not moving. Is our bike nearby? Yeah, standing there. Okay. So we should probably go camp out with our turret. Even though we probably shouldn't. You look clean. Oh, you a big boy. A girl, I guess. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go back to my turret for this. Ouch. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay. Didn't die. All right, I'm hoping Queenie will make her way over here. She will. Great. Means I get to go all the way back up there, huh? Alright. It's kind of annoying that I can't uh, pick up items. I guess it's also because of reasons. To, if you don't mind. Need to squeeze through here. Sure, 
They're still happily gunning away. That's cool. Where's her queen at? Oh, she's still there. You just probably pick her from here. Well, until that happens, I guess. Yeah, it seems the queen is pretty much um, stuck. So I'm guessing if the teleporter is fully charged, enemy stops spawning. Either that, or if the boss uh, is murdered. That hurts. So does that, but not as bad. Now what's the green thing? Green is probably bad because it's an enemy that's making it. Probably break for a sec here, get some health back. things has to go down before I do this video. Good lord. I think the teleporter is almost charged. Okay, so I guess it can't go to 100 until the boss kicks it. Where the boss is taking double damage now? Okay, well, the boss is dead. So are we, but we kill the boss. Alright, cool. Well, I think that's gonna be it for this first um, episode, then. Cool. Fun. I'll definitely be playing a lot more of this. Um, hey, we killed the boss, so I did what I still have to do. Hopefully, we uh, get to see level number two on uh, the next episode. But for now, thank you for watching. We're still in series. Free shots, probably something like the end or something. If you're already, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.